Thanks. Well, all across green country, people are seeking warmth from this winter blast. Some people in particular really need to play it safe. 10 News reporter Asia Vickers joins us live to explain. Well, Karen, the cold affects everybody, especially the elderly who are the most vulnerable. John Steadkey volunteers for Meals on Wheels. On Mondays, he delivers food to Marguerite Bagby. Marguerite, how are you? Being able on a cold, nasty day to be able to bring warm food to somebody um, is, is a treat. But it's not just a hot meal he delivers. He also brings a helping hand to those who are elderly and homebound. Steadkey says snowy days like this can be dangerous because there are times when a client's heat or phone has been cut off and no one is around to check on them. Just that, that, that uh, checking on, on the recipients to make sure that, uh, that they're okay. They want to know, do I want anything, Miss Bagby? They are so nice. They all are nice. The staff at Senior Helpers knows all too well just how important it is to check on the elderly during inclement weather. Many of their clients suffer from dementia or Alzheimer's, which makes them even more vulnerable. Cheryl Doyle says certain medications can also leave seniors unaware of the cold. They are more prone to hypothermia, even at temperatures, if the temperature is set at 60 or 70 degrees, because they're not moving, they've got less body fat. And if they do go outside, there's a greater chance they will fall on icy walkways. So Doyle tells her clients to keep their kitchen stocked for when the weather turns bad. Now, Meals on Wheels does leave emergency provisions in what they call a blizzard bag. Live near downtown Asia Vickers, 2 News works for you.